Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Not gonna be long. Listen, I have um, a couple minutes. I'm on my uh, break. I'm working, so yeah, I'm doing some OT for the weekend. Anyway, good morning. Carl Nicole, Wisdom Coach, wanted to say hello this morning. Kind of give you something to kind of sip on. You guys uh, kind of know sometimes I just want to pop in and give you guys this um, this reel. So um, I wanted to talk today about when you're in a relationship with somebody and, um, you know, you, you have a relationship and you're feeling like, that relationship is going well, right? And then uh, disaster happens. <laughs> disaster meaning something goes uh, left the center. You know, your uh, your mate ends up messing around on you, and you're real frustrated. You're mad as hell. You're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna tolerate it. You're mad. You're angry. All of that. Get that. Trust me. I get it. So you're upset, right? You're mad because you're in a relationship and you feel as though um, your mate was going to be loyal, faithful, and all of that stuff. Um, and they may have even said that, yes, I'm going to be faithful to you. I'm going to only be with you, whatever, what have you. And that happens, of course. People say a lot of things, but... <laughs> But through the courses of, of various relationships of my own and coaching people in relationships, I understand that sometimes what we say and what we do are two totally different things, right? So I want to talk about something because I think it's important. Um, there have been times when people continue to bring up, hey Charles, thank you babe. People continue to bring up about how my man cheated on me, my girl cheated on me, or whatever, right? And I think because there's never really been a teaching of how you're supposed to operate in a relationship. You know, I go back to when I was in high school, man, you know, as soon as you find out somebody's in a relationship, the jock, the cheerleaders together, then that girl or that guy is off limits, can't talk to nobody else, can't be friends with nobody else, shut it all down. You're only to be with each other. And I get that part as far as if that's what you're developed or ev evolving into. But a lot of times we start cutting off people as soon as we say we're in a relationship with somebody. Let me cut this one off. Let me cut that one off. Oh, I can't have friends. I can't do this. I can't do that. And we start to box in our relationship as though there's nobody else in existence after you're in a relationship with somebody. And it's just not true. So what I want to tell you is that even though sometimes you're not, um, or you're together, but you're trying to box in each other as only being together alone and, and, and having your sacred space and time, it is what it is. But understand something which is really important is that monogamy and being together exclusively is not just a goal. You, you don't just set the goal that we're only going to be together, we're only everything to each other, and that's it. That's not how monogamy in its proper right should be developed. It's about evolution. First of all, uh, you know, the monogamy thing is what it is, but it doesn't have to require you to only be in a relationship with each other. You're only together, you can't have friends, you can't have this, you can't have that. It's like by the time you say you and I are together, we're shutting everybody else out. I mean, and, and it's, it's, it's designed to by, I mean, become a battleground because now I'm spending most of my time trying to monitor if you and I, if you're being faithful to me and you're monitoring, am I being upfront with you? That's like being, in, in a tug of war with someone. And then when we don't see the person doing what we feel they should be doing as far as faithfully and, and are you with me exclusively, as soon as we see, as soon as we see that they're not doing that, then all of a sudden we're like, well, I got an issue with you. I'm not appreciative of you. I don't like that you're doing this or you're doing that. Hey, Keith, thank you, babe. I don't like that you're doing this and you're doing that. So now we're babysitting our mates. 
We're spending more time on a battleground with them. What are you doing? Who are you doing? Where are you at? What you doing? Where are you at? Who's, who, why are you talking to her? Let me see your phone. Uh, that is not monogamy. Monogamy is, to po is supposed to be an evolution. It's supposed to be by design. We evolve to wanting to be with each other exclusively if that's so what we develop into it's not a goal people stop trying to make your man or your woman be exclusively with you this is why things are not working okay this is very dysfunctional we need to stop doing it we need to stop thinking every time my man does this or does that or talks to her or he's got a, a fondness for her or he's looking up at her and talking to her that is exhausting and nobody wants to be involved with this. This is why women get frustrated. I want to know where we're at. What are we doing? Trust me, I was that chick. What are we doing? Are we together or not together? What are we doing? Why am I asking? I had to sit back and say, why am I asking what are we doing like I'm not in it? <laughs> if you're together, you're together. If you're down with each other, you're down with each other. If you care about each other, you care about each other. Why am I making all of these stipulations about you can't have friends, you can't go here, you gotta let me know what you're doing? That's like being with the being in a battleground. And so I just want to let y'all know, like, listen, we gotta step back and look at it. If you really truly develop and evolve into monogamy, and that's what you are. You don't have to master it and, and, and regulate it and monitor it. It's what it is, okay? It's what it is. So you don't have to do all of that. It just becomes that. By nature, men are not monogamous. I don't care what they tell you. They can tell you anything. Yeah, girl, it's just me and you. And the next thing you know, he's sleeping with her, sleeping with her, sleeping with her. And we're like, why are you telling you and me? And now I'm try I'm checking your stuff out and I'm seeing you're not with me. You're with her and you're with this one and that one. And now you're mad, right? What you mad for? He tell he can tell you anything, right? He it is what it is. So when we're trying to spend time monitoring what a man is doing or monitoring what a woman's doing and who she with and where she going where she's going, you're spending a lot of time babysitting. You're not in a relationship. You're in a babysitting arrangement and it's exhausting we have to step back and look at am i in this relationship do i have to tell a man that he and i are exclusive or does he just know does a man have to tell you you're it or do you just know are you his ice are you in case of an emergency are you on his stuff are you his girl he you know if you're his girl or not he don't have to tell you know why because he shows you when a man puts you as, as the as the A1, you don't have to question it. You don't have to ask, well, are you with me or are you not? You don't have to ask that question because you know. You know when you're with a man or not because you don't even, matter of fact, they will cut anybody else off that is at you, trying to step to you, trying to check you and tell you something. They'll be like, hey, she's a, you don't, that's, that's not okay. You don't approach her. She's untouchable. And a man will put you where you placed. It's what it is. Just like when you're in a relationship, ladies, and you are in a, in a relationship with a man, a man is going to be who he is to you. You don't have to have the label. You don't have to have the title. Fuck it. You don't have to have the ring. If you are his everything, he will show you. You will know. You ain't even got to, look, you ain't even got to put it on Facebook. You ain't got to go, you ain't got to go downtown and get a court, court docs. You ain't got to do nothing, baby. He, if he's with you, he's with you. And there is nothing, no woman, nobody that's going to stop it. Period. He's with you. He's with you. Period. You don't have to worry, wonder, care about what he's doing, where he's at, who's he with. Because you're it. And you know it. Trust me. This is why I think it's important we have conversations because we have developed relationships like we're still in high school. Say I'm lying. <laughs> Say I'm lying. We still act like we're in high school when it comes to grown-ass relationships. Just because you are with me and I'm with you, I ain't got to say nothing. I don't even I don't even have to look we don't even have to have selfies you ain't got to put me on you nothing we can just be what we are and keep it moving and be what it is honey listen 
I don't need all of that. But for those of us that are feeling like I have to have a man tell me, then you're not paying attention to what y'all doing and while you're in the relationship. A man will show you what it is. Trust me. You don't have to question it. You don't have to begin ponder. You don't have to ask your coach. Because I have a lot of women that come to me, hey, sis, hey, coach, listen, I'm having this issue with this dude. I don't know what we are. What? Are you with him or not? Well, I don't know. He's here one minute, not here another. He's giving me mixed signals. Then that's not, you're not it. You're not it. You're not it for him. He's not peeping you as the main or the only. You will develop and, and you don't have to tell no man, are you with me or not? You don't even have to ask him shit. If he wants to be with you, he will be. Trust me. There's no holds barred here. And then if you don't get what you don't want, you're free to leave. There's, oh, do you know how many billions of people are on the planet? Do you know how many fine brothers are out here wanting women? That nobody wants to tell you that. Nobody wants to tell you that there's men that want relationships. Honestly, want relationships and want to be in solid ones. You're not going to hear that from nobody else. I'm just here to tell you they exist. But as long as you're trying to strong arm a man to be, you're going to only be with me. He's going to be like, um, I'm going to hide having attractions for other women. I'm not going to tell you I think she's fine or she's cool or I have meshed with her or I have a care for her. I'm not going to tell you that because I know damn well as soon as I say that, you're going to have number one, an attitude. Number two, not only an attitude, but you're also going to have issue. You're going to pull all your affections away from them. You're not going to want to talk to them. You're not going to give me this label. Then I'm going to bounce. I don't want to be with you then if I can't have you in the, in the, in the arrangement that I want to have you in. So if I can't have this, then you get nothing. Okay. But look at what you're capping off. You're capping off good friendships, good relationships. Everybody isn't going to be your husband. Everybody isn't going to be your main dude. Every dude isn't going to be in your life for forever. Some men are here and some are there. They, we're doing too much. We're spending too much time trying to strong arm people to be faithful to us. Be it in marriage or not be it in a relationship or not whatever you're in it doesn't matter whether you strong arm them or not they're going to do what they want to do we are separated we are not together we are two different beings you have a right to do what you want to do and i have a right to do what i want to do if we decide yes we're going to be together it's not by a verbal arrangement do you know how many times i went down the aisle? i went down twice and both times it wasn't what it said what we said it was so why am I going to be upset? Why am I going to be mad at him? Or uh, you didn't do what you said. Well, hell, I didn't do what I said. Okay, it is what it is. So I'm going to be tight because he didn't do what he said and he devoted and said he was going to be faithful. That don't mean nothing. I've said a lot of things. <laughs> and faithfulness comes from being a development and an evolution. It doesn't come based upon me saying it. We become it one-on-one -on -one. once i'm with you i'm with you and a lot of times we'll be in a relationship and he'll be all a whole on me go to the next chick and be all faithful to her am i mad no because at the end of the day you a better man for her than hell be it as it may do you i'm not mad about it i got exes that moved on and was a pristine gentleman to his new girl i'm gonna be mad about it for what no you grew, you became a better man, or you decided to make changes for yourself, for your new relationship. You learned something. Well, I applaud that, and I actually encourage that. Please, by all means, improve. Be you. Be a better man. Yes. I'm not, I'm not going to take it personal because you weren't faithful to me. Maybe I just didn't, maybe I just wasn't your taste. See what I'm saying? Maybe I, did, I wasn't enough to be enough for you to be faithful to. And I'm not mad, nor do I take that personally. It's what it is. I'm cool. Trust me. I don't feel no type of way because you couldn't be faithful to me or decided not to be faithful. Or it just wasn't in you at the time or the season that you're in. Because sometimes we can meet somebody who is just not in that faithful state of being right now. They just maybe want to be free and be with different people. Okay. 
By all means, baby girl, baby boy, do you. But understand this. We can't go based upon, based upon what somebody says. People say a lot of shit. They say, I'm going to be faithful. They say, I'm going to be loyal. They say, I'm going to be trustworthy. And turn around and be the complete and total opposite. Am I mad? No, you just said what you hoped you could be or desired to be, but you didn't You didn't measure up, okay? I'm not mad about it, baby. I'm not. It's all good. Matter of fact, like I say all the time, just because he was a hoe on me and he turns around and is faithful to another chick, I don't have no issue with that because obviously I just didn't have it enough for you sexually or whatever to keep you in that realm of wanting to only be sacred with me at that time we got to stop living in the yesterday and in the tomorrow be real with yourself today what is it what is it in your relationship that's keeping you sacred and keeping you wanting to be together what <laughs> have you even asked yourself why am i with this person why am i with this man am i with this man because i have to be or am i with this man because i want to be gentlemen why are you with this woman are you with her because you have to be or because you want to be if you want something different you have to become different you have to sh you have to focus on you do you be you if you want something that you want to have that is sacred you can't sit down and decide that you're going to be faithful okay i want y'all to get this this is vital you can't sit down and say, I'm going to be faithful. That's not how it works. You either are or you're not. Or it's not even an issue on the table. We don't even talk about if we're faithful or not. We're just together. Okay. However y'all's arrangement is, it is what it is. But just own that shit. Be stop, stop trying to monitor and try to figure out what somebody else is doing. Focus on you. Ladies, focus on your nana gentlemen focus on your stuff we don't have to sit here and monitor them like they're grown these grown ass men as to what they're doing if you are in a sacred relationship in a sacred bond with someone it is what it is allow it to develop on its own to what it's going to be if it's going to be a faithful sacred relationship and it's just you and her or you and him you ain't got to say a thing because it will show it will show you Every time we try to get upset about, well, I don't know why he's not being faithful to me, stop and pay attention to what you just said. You're trying to monitor if he's faithful or not. Stop. You got to let it go. If somebody's going to be faithful, damn it, they're going to be faithful regardless of what is going on. If they're in that season, if they're in that stage of their life they want to be, they will be. Period. It's no... It's no, um, what's the word? It's no trying to figure it out. You just are. You're just faithful, period. And you don't even have to think about it. It's not even a second guess. Once I'm locked into a man and I love him, I want to be with him, it ain't really a whole lot to waver me away from it. It's just me. So that's just me in my natural state. If I'm with you, I'm with you. I, it's just what it is. I don't have to say a thing if I'm together with you or not. You know. You know when you come home if I'm all yours or not you know i don't have to say anything same with gentlemen if you really really are into a chick i've seen men cry over women i've seen men distraught over women i've seen men be like i can't lose her i've seen all of it i've seen men hooked on a woman to the point where it's toxic like you are doing the most and you know this woman isn't for you but he'll go all out for her so it's not just women. It's not just men. It's who you are individually. I just wanted to give you this, this nugget this morning. Please understand, you will evolve into a monogamous relationship. If that person wants to be monogamous with you and you the same, it will mesh into it without saying a word. If it's not going to be monogamous, it will mesh into that as well. And you will know without saying a word. You don't have to have somebody tell you. You'll just know. That's what it is. I just wanted to give you just a nugget this morning. Sipping on my tea, just thought, like, look, I've been, I've been in my relationship groups trying to help people because they all over the place about, well, when this man cheated. and I said, baby girl, you're going to wear yourself out worrying about what he's doing and where he's going and what's going 
you're going to wear yourself out trying to figure that out. If he's not being with you, only you, and that's not what you want to do, then get out. Choose somebody different. Be with somebody else. It's okay, people. We got, it, there's, listen, there's 4 billion people in the world. You're worried about one person not matching to what you're wanting in relationships. It's exhausting, man. It makes me tired as a coach. I'm trying to help y'all. You, you guys aren't figuring out, oh, this person isn't for me. Well, I mean, what do you want from somebody? Why not just allow? Have you ever thought about it? just sit back and allow? Allow him to show you him. Allow you to show you, uh, allow yourself to show you this woman. Can Gentlemen, can you tell a woman your sexual truth? Can you tell her, look, baby girl, I mean, I love you and all, but I might not be faithful. Can you do that? I mean, I see a lot of men that say, no, nah, hell no, I can't say that. I had a man had to tell me what he really thought of a video because I have brought this up. And he's like, I can't say this. Why not? And then you guys wonder why you keep getting tripped up with women because women are at, at you about what you're not doing because she, she's thinking you're going to be faithful and only with her and then you're not and then she's all over the place. She's like, well, that's what you told me. And he's like, well, that's not what I am, but I can't tell you my truth because if I tell you how I really feel and where I'm really at in my heart and, and mind and soul sexually, you're not going to be with me. You're going to pull out. You're going to leave me. You're going to go with somebody else because you can't handle it. Oh, people, I'm just trying to help you all this morning. Men have a hard time telling women their sexual truth because women will pull out. Peace out. I'm out. You don't want to be with me. You don't want to be in this type of arrangement. Then I'm gone. I don't, I don't want to fool with you. I'm good. And then men are like, see, this is why I don't say nothing. And then when I don't say nothing and then I get caught because I'm doing my other things, then I still get burned. Then I still lose them. Like, what am I supposed to do? I get it. But I'm just keeping it a buck, ladies. We can't make a man be faithful. That's just not real. You have to allow the evolution of the relationship to become what it is naturally. It's easy. Listen, it's easy to buy virality on videos and stuff, that's easy to do. Pay, get it, become viral, be a viral sensation. But it's nothing like being an organic virality because people have actually taken what you said and appreciate it and, and draw to your videos and draw to you and draw to your messages and share it naturally, right? That's organic. That's a more solid, more fruitful, more appreciated virality when someone takes your video and says hey I love what she's talking about let me share it so other people can see it and get this message right versus me paying for somebody to to, to do it for me feel what I'm saying same thing with development in relationships if I allow this man to love on me and I love on him without any type of stipulation about you got to be this to me or you got to be that to me or whatever you can't have this you can't do this you can't do this He's going to do everything in his power to dip and dodge around your rules, honey. Be like, oh, let me go over here. Oh, let me not do this. Oh, she's going to catch me over here. Let me do this. Let me do that. And your ping pong, ping pong ball boyfriend is everywhere. Like, oh, if I say this, she's going to be like this. If I do this, allow, honey, allow him to do him. You do you. Come to come together and then evolve. And as you evolve and branch into each other, you'll find, man, I'm fond of this person. We're spending more time together. What? Naturally. I don't, I don't have to have him to say, um, I don't have to tell him you have to be here at this such and such and such a time. You have to do this for me. You have to buy this for me. I don't have to do that because he does it on his own. Not because I demand it either because he wants to. You see what I mean by... When we structure our relationships without all these demands, commands, um, rules, all of this stuff, when we step back and allow, it just starts to flow on its own and develops on its own. And sometimes you might get more than you ever could imagine from a person you love and care about because it dedicated itself, it, it meshed into itself, it became sacred on its own, 
Stop telling people everything. Stop putting people all into your business. Keep your quiet. Stop telling everybody your business. Keep your mouth shut. Everybody don't need to know you and him together. Everybody don't need to know what y'all got going on. Stop. How are you going to develop and be solid and be full in your development if you got everybody in your business? Now everybody on you. Oh, you want him? I want him. And <laughs> now you fighting to get his attention. Girl, stop. Let it be what it's going to be. Let it be organic. Let it become an organic, sacred, solid bond. And you don't have to care about what's going on, who he's with, who he's talking to, who's that girl, who's this, who's that. And he's like, I ain't telling her this. I ain't telling her that. I ain't going to do this. I ain't going to do that. She might catch me here. That's too much. Be you, mamacita. Stop. Trust me. I'm talking to the old me. This used to be the old me. I would be in his phone, bruh. In his phone. Who is this? What are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you here so late? No, you didn't. Oh, no. Oh, I know. I bet you I... All of that. I was that. Until I found out, girl, you wasting your time. And that's something I can't never get back. All that time through his phone, through his emails, through his stuff. What's he doing? Where's he going? That stuff is ridiculous. I was like a damn mama trying to be on, on site, trying to figure out what he's doing. Like, let me pay more attention to what I'm doing. How about that? <laughs> and once I did that, you know, I developed relationships. I developed into... A, a, a evolution of intimacy that now I don't even have to worry about who he with. Where is he going? What's going on? I don't have to guess because I know. I'm clear. Trust me. Very crystal clear as to who I am in his life. I don't have to guess. I don't have to wonder, well, am I important? Is he? Does he care about me? Am I in... Honey, I'm his ice. Okay? He, I, in case of emergency... I am that. I'm emer I'm his emergency contact. I ain't worried about these other women. What for what? <laughs> I'm not worried about it. And one of the things I learned is when you do all that worry, that's also energetic. You spending all this time worried about what somebody else is doing or who he's with or where is he going or what's going on here and what's going on there. Man, please. <laughs> ain't got that to do. So when you did so what I want you guys to keep remembering now. Allow your relationship, okay, to evolve naturally, organically, on its own to what it will be. Stop putting the rules up. Stop putting the demands up. Stop telling the man what he can and can't do. Stop saying, I wonder, what are we doing? All of that stuff that you got going on that you're trying to monitor what a man is doing is killing your relationship. And it's making the relationship more than what it needs to be. It's, it's becoming more a headache. It's becoming a headache. Your man's dipping and dodging, trying not to tell you nothing. Because he's afraid that's going to be what? That's going to stop him from having you be intimate with him. And I'm not talking about just sex either. Just being intimate, being close to him. A woman mad as hell about a man fucking around. Man, that house is cold as hell. You know how I know? Because I had, I had it being in here like <laughs> real talk. When I would be pissed off about a man cheating, man, the whole house was cold. That man wasn't getting a kiss, a rub on the ass, or nothing. I'm just keeping it 100. With Listen, I don't lie to you. I was the epitome of somebody always checking in on my man. What's he doing? Where's he going? Now I'm like, uh-uh. I ain't got all that to do, baby boy. You do you, okay? I... I'm not monitoring a F thing about what you're doing, okay? I love you. You claim to love me. And not only do you claim it verbally, you tell me and show me. Okay. So when the actions and the words match, when the actions and the words match, then you know you got something. When the actions, I'm saying it more than once so y'all get this. When the actions and the words match, you've got something. Take that to the bank. When the actions tell you this 
and the words match it, you got something. And it developed naturally. I don't have to tell a man, listen, I need you to do this for me. I need you to do that for me. I need you to be here. I need you to do this. I don't, I ain't got to say nothing. Matter of fact, more times than not, he's asking me, what do you need? I don't need nothing. When you coming by, I want to see you or I miss you or whatever. I don't listen. One of the things I learned from making all the sorry ass mistakes from not having a real true education about what relationships are and how they're supposed to naturally develop. I had to, I had to truly have some solid men in my life to sit down and have a conversation with them. I'm like, look, man, I, I have had some relationships that I just did horrible in. And I'm not talking about the cho- the partner choices I'm talking about. I'm talking about me now. I'm not talking about what he did or he didn't do because that's not my business. What my exes did is what it, we know what it is and what it wasn't and all that. But at the end of the day, how do I improve being a lover when I come to the next man or the man I'm with? How do I come, how do I come now? Am I going to be the same old me that keeps getting the same old um, result? Or am I going to be a new me? So I had to curtail some of the shit. And I said, well, let me think. Started asking men, like, well, I mean, what is it really? And the men are like, we don't want to be in all that, what you're talking about. You fine and all, but we ain't trying to do all that. We ain't trying to be monitored like a kid. We're fucking grown. I'm like, oh. Okay. Anything else? Yes. If you want to know how a man feels, he'll show you. You ain't got to ask him. Okay. (laughs) I'm getting this real, baby. I'm getting the real. He said, men don't come in and out. If a man wants to be with you, he's going to be with you. It ain't this in and out peekaboo shit. A man's real, he's going to be real with you. If he wants to be there, he's going to be there. It's not all this back and forth or uncertainty. I'm like, oh. If a man really wants to be with you, if a man really wants to see you, if a man really is encouraged by you, if a man desires to see you, he's going to do it, period. Ain't no talking. (laughs) You just know. I said, okay, okay. So I had conversations with grown-ass men. And then I had to do some inner development of myself. I had to change some shit. I had to go in here and change the old me. Because the old me... You like you like another woman. It's on. We having this whole sit down conversation. Are we together or not? Are you with me or are you not with me? Are you che- what are we doing? Cause I ain't got this to do with. <laughs> I mean, the epitome of somebody that's constantly demanding a man to do what I want him to do, and then don't let him not do it. Cause now it's cold as hell in here. He ain't getting no love. No well. I don't think I stopped the sex, but he wasn't getting no a physical flirtations. I'm I'm real flirty. I'm a flirt with him. He knows it. But I might not do that if I'm hot as hell about what I found out. Guess what I found out? I found out he was this and he was that. And don't let my girls, man, find out some shit. They calling me. Girl, guess who? What? Really? So now I got my girls on the prowl watching out for me. What? He did what? Go get him. I got you. I've had round tables on a man before. Girls hitting me up. Not my best friend, but her friend hit me up. We had a whole round table on. Oh, is this your man, girl? He was doing this and doing that. Was he? Okay. Okay. Now I'm acting the fool. Oh, it's going to be cold up in here today. He ain't going to. I mean. <laughs> It's like, when I think back of all the stuff that I'm talking about, you guys would be dying, if you're not already, of all the shit that I would be mad about. Never, it was never okay, because I'm always like, well, he's this and he's that, and you want to be with me or not? I mean, it's like, girl. So I had to redevelop. What I call that is laid low and reinvented. And so what I had to first do is get some real learning and education about men and 
How do I learn to have friendship, wholesome friendships with men? How do I learn to engage with men and understand men and get into the heart of men? Not always sexually, but how do I learn to understand them? Men are not products. I don't get to just own him and then sit around and monitor who else wants to own him and they ain't getting him because he's mine. <laughs> I mean, we just, it just took some of me really sitting back and saying to myself, Carla Nicole, you are going about this relationship thing all wrong. And then when I figured out how to master that, I learned to help other people to see outside of what you're holding on to. One of the greatest le lessons that I learned is I got to stop trying to monitor somebody else and start being more about self, more about my own personal growth, more about self-development. How am I loving me? Because how am I going to be telling a man how to love me and I ain't loving me right? Man, listen, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not loving me right. How am I telling a man how to love me and I don't even know what I'm doing on how to love me? So I just start redirecting my focus. Well, I'm spending a lot of time worried about this and I'm losing all this time. We could be connecting. I could be learning your mind, learning your problem solving skills, learning how you resolve and stuff, learning your passion, learning about what you've got in your heart and how you feel. I can learn how I can encourage you. How can we build? But I can't do all of that if all I'm doing is spending most of my time trying to see if you're sticking your penis in another vagina. That's a waste of my damn time. I ain't got that to do. I'm not wasting any more moments on that. And like I said, if we're together, I don't have to guess. We're just together. I don't have to hear you tell me you love me. I know. I don't have to know if I'm important to you. I know. With no question. It's what it is. And like I said, when you get that, when you get that sacred, <laughs> that sacred bond, okay? And you get that love where it's a connection. You don't have to try to figure out what it is. It's organic. It's gratifying. And it's wholesome. So I don't have to monitor. Because at the end of the day, we are people, we are separate. We have separate minds, we have separate de desires, we have things we need to do, we have things we need to, to get um, accomplished. And so as long as we step back and we start to see, well, man, I'm not gonna get all caught up in trying to tell a man my rules, what I expect, it, it, it then takes off all of the headache and then it helps us to then achieve a more solid, beautiful, sacred space with each other that we can enjoy each other without all the rules, without a man having to dip and dodge himself. He can't be honest with you because if he tells you this, you're going to go left to center. Let that man tell you his truth. It may take a while to swallow the, the, the pill of truth, but digest that shit anyway and stop trying to make it what it's not. Allow, please. Once we get to that space of allowing and understanding someone and we, we start to forgive, we get out of all this headache and we start to really enjoy what a man in our life are, are, is meant to be, what a woman in your life is meant to be. Men, Stop thinking that all women are unfit. There's a lot of good ones out here. There's a lot of good women. But again, even men, you want you want your demands also. Some men are suffocating. They don't want you to do nothing without them. That's too much. Let that woman be. If you're meant to be, you're meant to be. It ain't no, it ain't no, well, we're not together. Are we together? What are we? Why are you still hollering at your ex-boyfriend? You're smiling too hard at him and all that. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's grow up. Ladies, we got to get more mature than our bra sizes, honey. Okay? We got we got to get beyond still looking like we are, look like we were looking in high school. Still wanting to be all about one and nobody else. It's too much, man. And like I said, 
if you want a relationship, a solid relationship, whether it be monogamous or not, you have to first allow it to breathe. Allow the relationship to develop on its own. You don't have to do all of that. <laughs> and I'm speaking from experience because like I said, I was the epitome of just all over the place doing the most always on somebody what are you doing no you're not you're gonna do this you're gonna do that that's too much had to redesign how i was thinking had to reinvent some shit had to change my ways i'm like i'm a lot i needed to make some phone calls to some exes like baby boo i'm very sorry <laughs> i was a lot okay i was doing a lot and for what what was i gaining by that I ended up losing not you per se because now you're a better man but I done lost myself lost my time worrying about what's in your email and what woman is this and who is that that is a lot we got to get off of this and, and we also have to build our self-confidence and build our self-love up when you love yourself you can give a damn about another woman matter of fact you're going to appreciate him having other beautiful women in his life my god thank you you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Take some of all of this pressure off of me. Love on that hand. Love on my man. I'm good. I'm gone. I'm whew, take him. Lord knows that some of y'all men are a lot. So I mean, I'm not gonna worry about another female. It's just at this point, it's not worth it. I hope I help somebody today. I gotta get back to work, guys. Make sure you share this video, man. Somebody needs to hear it. Tag your girls, tag your friends, man. Just we got to do better in relationships so we can have more wholesome, solid relationships that matter, that last beyond six months. I'm just saying. All right, guys, I'm out of here. So, like I said, oh, also go on to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and subscribe to it. My YouTube channel is Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. I got a bunch of videos on there. Sexual videos talking about how to improve sexual intimacy, how to improve your life, relationships, love, all of that. Go over there to my wisdom um, uh, YouTube channel and, and subscribe, man. I'm always on there. So make sure you do that too. Like I said, it's Carla Nicole Wisdom channel on YouTube. Go over there. Check it out. All right, guys. I love you all. Please be sure to share this video. Somebody needs to hear it. I'm out of here, guys. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Bye, guys.